This is really loud. Uh, give me one second. Why does this always wind up being so loud for me? Okay, that's a little better. Well, welcome. Welcome back to the series where we are in Man Every Single Fire Emblem game. Today we are continuing our journey through Fire Emblem 6. Uh, the Binding Blade. Uh, wait. Did I start the chapter? What is the resume chapter? Oh, oh! It's because I was I was doing something else. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold up! Wait a minute. I was trying to figure out because I felt like the the quality of the ROM looked a little bit weird, or the quality of the stream looked a little bit weird last time. So I was trying to figure out why it looked like that. So that's why I had started the chapter. I'm not cheating, I swear. Uh, respecting Hector's dying request, Roy makes his way west. That's right. We're going to Ostia to talk to Lalina. Uh, Roy makes... I missed that. As intent on reaching Lelina, Roy keeps a steady pace toward Ostia. Oh my god, the wires are congealing. Man, I swear, if you put wires next to each other, they just, they find a way to tangle. It's crazy. The territory of Laos, governed by Lord Eric. At a glance, Laos is a peaceful territory with vast meadows and clear streams. Beneath this beauty, however, lies treachery and great skullduggery. Great skullduggery is a really good line. I appreciate that. So this is a, a well, I guess Fire Emblem 7 is a retread of this map, but... Ah, welcome, General Narshan. Lord Eric. I don't think I've yet praised your wisdom in joining Burn. Thank you, sire. Ancient vows and traditions are nothing more than a burden anyways. You, my friend, are wise beyond your years. Now, where is that gift you promised me? She doesn't seem to be here. Ah, yes, she's in her quarters. She's exceedingly naive, you see. When I told her she could meet her brother, she cooperated without question. You there, bring her here. What is this hall? Clean? Where are you, brother? Welcome, Lady Clarine. Who might you be? I am Narshan, one of Burn's three Wyvern generals. My lovely little lass. So are there, so there's three generals in like Brunya, uh, Murdoch, and then Narshan, but are there also some specifically Wyvern generals? I actually don't know. I don't think there is. My lovely little lass, I think you will enjoy my company more than your brother's. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing there. <laughs> what? Why do you laugh? You compare yourself to my brother? You think too highly of yourself. Your garb, your hair, even your speech. All a painfully obvious guise to hide your true lowborn face. Oh my god, what a bitch. Lowborn me? You would compare me to a peasant? Oh heavens no. You would sooner I would sooner compare you to a filthy disease ridden mutt. Oh my god, you vermin. I'll see you suffer. General Narshan, we just received word that Castle Arafen was retaken by the enemy. What impossible? What if Slater? Uh his whereabouts are unknown, sire. The enemy is reported to be Roy, son of Oh, somebody corrected me on this, by the way. I keep saying Marquis, but they said it's pronounced like it's spelled, so it'd probably be like Marques. We'll say son of Marques Foray. Accursed interruptions. Lord Eric, lock this girl, lock the girl in a cell. I will give her the pleasure of my company when I return. You blockade the high road from Ostia. This Roy might uh, just pass by. I want his head. Yes, sir. Okay. Does this, I wonder if this looks better than, uh, seems like it looks about this. Well, let me look at a character. How does, does this look any different? I have to wait for the stream to update now. Oh, that looks kind of better, right? I thought that, I just felt like the stream, the last time I streamed seemed really blurry. I don't know, maybe it's better. Who knows? Pleasure of woo. Wait, why is... Hold on. Oh! I... Wait, what happened to my background? Hold on a second. Did I accidentally delete the background? I might have. Uh... 
Okay, give me one second here. Oh, that's not the one I that's not the one I usually use. Okay, hold on. Sorry, I know this is gonna be annoying, but give me one second here. Okay. Because the problem is if I don't use a background, then you can't see the chat on the screen. Eh, it's still pretty bad. Uh, can I make it any better? Not really. Well, I guess I could just do that. That's probably fine. I'm a pro streamer, by the way. Okay, that's better. Pleasure, uwu. -woo. Weird English uh, pronunciation. Oh, on on Marquez or. I probably I probably pronounce stuff wrong. I always do. Hate this chapter. Yeah, me too. What's up, Wheelie? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah, this chapter. A lot of people talk about chapter seven, and, and they should. Chapter seven is ridiculous, but this chapter is no slouch. Um, these units are way stronger than they should be. I believe there's actually like a glitch, or not a glitch, but I don't know that it was intentional to quite make the Cavaliers this strong. Like this Cavalier is nuts considering your army. And so are these. It's funny because reinforcement spawns actually come weaker than the than the spawns that start on chapters, which is pretty weird. Medieval words are weird. They are. They really are. Um, so the best strategy that I've always found for this chapter is basically just to rely on Marcus, which is kind of our strategy for everything we do in the Final Six early game. So not much of a difference, but basically don't let any unit that's not named Marcus fight these guys, at least for the first couple of turns. Because it's kind of important to do this chapter at least sort of quickly because we have to set up for like Rucker and stuff. Um, let me get this house. Without a thief, you can't open doors and chests so easily. Only thieves can use lockpicks. But I have something called a door key. Wow, which will open a door. Wow, that's surprising. Anyone can use it. You can have it. Thank you. Thank you. This chapter more after playing the Fremble 7. No rain here. That's actually a good point. I guess the I guess once you play the more shit version of this chapter, it doesn't look so bad, huh? That is a good point. Yeah, I don't think this chapter is like, other than the, I think the calves are a little too strong, but other than that, this chapter's not too bad. Once you get past the first little bit, yeah, the fact that there's no rain is actually really nice. Um, but yeah, the, the latter half of the chapter isn't really that bad. It's just this first, like, these first couple of turns that can get really hairy. Yeah, the rain in Fire Emblem 7 is uh, not super fun. This is also a moment... So these units, these units can roll either seven or eight speed, and depending on what they roll, and more importantly, whether or not Marcus gets a speed growth or a speed level up, which is really rare to be honest, so that doesn't really matter too much. But um, this is where him getting a speed level up can actually be really useful because he like guaranteed doubles. I think almost all calves. I think they can technically roll nine as well. Uh, let me move over the chat so it doesn't. Oh, what am I moving? I'll move in the background. Um, yeah, I think they can technically roll 9 speed, but usually it's either 7 or 8. Um, so him getting a speed level up, but sometimes it's 7. Unfortunately, most of these are 8, which is kind of just the way that it goes. So basically what you want to do in this chapter is you want to kill the first group of these units, and then you need to deal with the second group. Um, now the nice thing is that we don't have to deal with the second group for a minute here. Um... I kill this guy with Lance and Allen. With their powers combined. I should be able to. Question is, will they be safe? Yeah, it's a shame. You really want Marcus to be able to double two of them, and unfortunately it looks like we only got one. Cog of Are you doing Cog of Destiny? That chapter is uh that chapter is something. Okay, so. How do I want to do this? I probably just want to kill the Cav. Or I could deal good chip damage here. I don't know what's better. This... The Nomads are pretty annoying. Maybe this is better. Yeah. Hey, my hands has been a while. Yeah, back to Final 6. Yep. We just reached Final 6. This is part of a, a series I've been doing where I'm planning to do an Iron Man of every game. Um, in order. And we finished Final 5. Um, so we are on to 6. How much defense do you have? 6. He has seven, dude, Alan kind of blows, oh my goodness. Lance is definitely the better of those two at the moment. 
I do actually prefer Lance to Allen. I know Allen is probably the better unit in most situations, but I don't know. I like that Lance has a much more consistent uh, um, speed growth. Can I risk killing you? I have nine attack. I do kill, you have 21 avoid and I have 107 hit. The problem is if I miss, I believe Lou gets doubled. Oh, he doesn't. Does he get way down? No. Oh, I just said he got doubled by these guys on chapter on turn one. Okay. Well, he won't get attacked either way because there's no reason for him to. There's no reason for this nomad to die, so I doubt he'll get attacked. But just in case he does, I think I'm pretty okay with that. Um, I think that's all I want to do this turn. Oh, on Switch Online, you're still in Elliwood. Yeah, 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 I got you. I got you. Yeah, Cog is Cog is certainly a uh, Cog is certainly a chapter. Okay, this guy dying to Marcus is really nice. Cog can be tough. Although I think on isn't Cog the chapter that on like Elliwood is supposed to Hector mode? It's like pretty different. Uh, but yeah, it can be that chapter can be a pain for sure. It'll pay dearly for this treatment. Hey, who's there? I'm a mercenary hired by Lord Eric. He wants to see you. I will not. I refuse to meet with such churlish people. Churlish? That's okay. Churlish. Just get over here. Let go. You'll regret this. Have you any idea who I am? Let go, I say. Alright, well, he is going to let her go in a second here. I didn't know you could play Fire Emblem 7 on Switch Online. That's really cool. Or I guess I kind of knew that some of those games you could you could play the more modern, uh, the more modern stuff. Is Nick Saban retiring? I saw that the P. Carroll got uh, got fired in, in Seattle. Yeah, that surprised me a little bit. Although I guess they've been struggling. I think they probably just want to rebuild. What's up, Tonga? Welcome, welcome. Yeah, I, I didn't know that um, Nick Saban's retiring. That's kind of crazy. So the next stage of this chapter is basically just the same as the first stage, which is dealing with these units. Um, and just like the first part, we're going to be using Marcus. So ideally what you do well, in an ideal world, Marcus has a little bit more health than he currently does, but if you can get him to this forest tile, you can severely hamper the hit of the enemies. Again, it's, it's important to remember that the hit rates in this game are absolute dog shit, and while that's really annoying for you, it also works for the enemies, so using a void is not a terrible idea. Um, but yeah, you really want to clear out these really tough calves. And Marcus is pretty much your only unit that can actually do it effectively. I think there's like a small chance that Marcus could die here, but it's going to be a lot of 30% and, you know, those are... Considering how annoying this chapter is, those are percentages we kind of just take and deal with. This guy also can't double me, which is nice. I wonder if I can get him to come over here. Yoo-hoo! What about Walt? 15 attack. Minus 5 defense, but I get 1 for the forest, yeah, so that'll work. Maybe he'll even get attacked. That would be kind of nice. The ring A2? Yeah, that would be cool. That would be very cool. Yeah, I love them putting the old uh, Fire Emblems on those, uh, on those systems. Especially for people who, like, maybe Engage was their first game or Three Houses or something. The ability to play, like, the GBA games. I mean, these games are pretty different, but, you know, I, I definitely think the people that enjoy the newer ones can, uh, can enjoy the older ones, which is really cool. Um, there's already a lot of people this guy can attack, so I think I probably don't need to give him anybody else. I guess I could lure these guys over here with Deke, but I would rather have them attack Marcus. The thing about this chapter is that it is sort of time sensitive, in the sense that you do eventually have to get a move on, because there are pirates that spawn. Oh no, there's Pegasus Knight. Are there? No, there's pirates that spawn. And also you have to recruit Rucker, obviously. Um, but you have like the first couple of turns to kind of do whatever you need to do. So, I'm pretty friendly six. Oh, only in J Japanese. Yeah, that sucks. That's a bummer. Hey, Bella, welcome. Yep, we're on chapter four, which uh, isn't going too poorly. Although Marcus didn't double this guy. As long as Marcus is not dead, this chapter is usually not too bad. Okay, this guy's on a sword too. That's good. A double here would go a long way. That's okay. Man, they really want to attack Marcus. 
Okay. Let go, let go, I say. Keep it down. You won't be able to make a clean escape making all that noise. Escape? Then you're... I prepared a horse for you out back under a tree. Take it and go while well, everybody's distracted. So is the only reason that Clarion is a Tremador and not just a normal healer because Rucker gave her a horse? Dude, Rucker's a homie. Why are you helping me? I despise Burn with all my soul. With all your soul? <laughs> Never mind, forget it. Saying that only piques my curiosity further. Time is short, hurry. I never met such a boorish man. This is a battlefield. A proper gentleman would escort a lady to her mansion. Well, it's hardly of concern now. Uh, I only came here to see my brother, and now look at the mess I'm in. What am I to do now? So Clarion is actually kind of interesting because um, even though she looks like she's really kind of frail, I'm going to change the color. I really don't like this red. I don't know. I wish you could... We'll, we'll do blue. I always do green. Um... But she actually will not get attacked, and I think is invincible. I used to- <laughs> we actually did a run not too long ago where I thought she was invincible for the entire chapter. That's not true. Don't- don't do that. Don't- don't think that. It's a good way to get her killed. Unfortunately, Marcus is like, kind of still in a pickle here. We're gonna have to wait probably one more turn and let Marcus do his thing. Normally you can get the nomads and stuff to kind of attack you a little bit, but they don't really seem to care about me other than Marcus, so it's a little annoying. Uh, you can attack whoever you want. Yeah, that should work. Hopefully he does come attack me. Oh, my homies hate Burn. Burn is the worst. They are trying to, like, blow up the world. Is the Perv Narshan scene? Yeah, that happened right before this. Clarine may be kind of a bitch, but she's pretty funny. Foolish nobility, always involved in such petty disputes. Of course, you'll hear no complaints from us. Turmoil is how we make a living. <laughs> Pirates- Oh, I didn't know that. Pirates attack Clarine. <laughs> Marcus is the- Marcus is the cornerstone of our army right now. Again, there, there is like a slight chance that he dies if a lot of these lower percentages hit, but... It's kind of tough to find combat elsewhere at the moment. Chapter 4 kind of kind of punches you in the face. Okay, that's kind of good. Although, I guess Marcus would have just killed this guy. But. And as long as you can get through the first, the first part of this chapter, it's not so bad. Because these nomads are really annoying. It's a good dodge. Hey, Zinc. Welcome, welcome. Oh, she's kind of- <laughs> she's kind of stuck. Uh, who wants this kill? But you have a sword? Uh, Thanny, I feel like you've done nothing. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I think I might know why. <laughs> uh, alright, I'll take a 59. Okay, we'll take that. Two for Lou. I probably should have put him in, uh, range. I was really hoping that one of the nomads would attack him. I can't reach this guy, can I? I can with a javelin. 51%? Okay. Do not end the turn. That would be quite disastrous, I think. Uh, I could probably kill this guy if I hit. Okay, that should be okay. I think. Because I should be able to kill the other one. With just, yeah, pretty consistent. Yeah, Clearing uh, goes in and talks to Roy, so you don't have to worry about doing anything special there. Uh, I might have to just pick up Danny or Shanna. Shanna is, uh, Shanna's great. We love Shanna. She totally won't die to a random uh, archer at some point in the playthrough. That never happens when I use her. Only, only an idiot would let that happen. It's funny that Pegasus Knights have, like, extremely low constitution, because it means, like, anybody can rescue them, which, I don't know, it's just a bit odd. It is nice for our purposes, of course, but... Ah, there you are. What do you want? We need to back up. Take some troops and prepare for battle. Are you deaf? Go and fight. I heard you. I'll leave when I'm ready. <laughs> I'll leave when I'm ready. Not the, uh... Is it amiable? I think a amiable sword? Is he? Uh, if his sword arm is as skilled as the rumors say, though, then it's no matter. 
I'll leave what I'm ready. God, what a cool guy. Oh god, Wade's gonna get absolutely destroyed here. This is the problem with Wade. Everyone is going to double him from now until the end of the game. Okay, well she almost recruited herself. Uh, what do you guys have? Iron Lance, Iron Sword. Okay, not too scary. Should really heal Lance. Probably can't do this. No, how fast is this archer? Oh my god, that archer has eight speed too! Again, units that spawn on chapters are stronger than units that... Or sorry, units that are there to begin with are stronger than units that spawn on chapters. So you have to be a little bit careful with that. That's part of why that guy is like so strong for no reason. It's just a random archer. Wade, we love Wade. We love Wade, but Wade, Wade needs some help. Okay. Um, Wade can probably get the kill here. I think Chad can like, yeah, perfect. Oh, I should probably turn on his animation. We love the uh, the thief animation. Uh, also Lou and then Chad, yeah. You see that if I'm... Wait, if you're ever fired... Wait, Wheelie, really? <laughs> you're not gonna be fired, are you? <laughs> Wait, Wade and Lou Braun, <laughs> nice. Wade and Wade and Lou Braun. That's, uh, that's the team, that's the dream team. They're taking their talents down to South Beach. Not one, not two. Okay, no speed. Come so much, yeah. He can definitely hit hard, it's just... If we use him throughout the playthrough, that's gonna be a pretty constant concern. The whole, like, being doubled thing. Um... How do we want to do this? You kind of have to deal with these pirates. I mean, the nice thing about this chapter as opposed to the Fire Emblem 7 version of this map is that there's no unit to recruit. So if you do mess up, um, uh, on this house down here, it's not like the end of the world. I think it's just a seal blade. Although, no, actually, wait a minute. I think that's the robe. Never mind. It is really important. I believe that's the Seraph robe. Or is it called Angelic robe in this game? I don't know. Uh, we should back up here. Unfortunately, I don't have the second healer. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. Sorry, I, I read it as like there was going to be a follow-up. You were like, if I ever get fired, I'm going to do something. And then and then I was like, oh, is he good? I gotcha. I'll, I'll leave when I'm ready. If only all of us could be as badass as, uh, as Rucker. Uh, okay, I, th I think backing up is probably the approach here. Usually clearing gets recruited a little bit earlier, but it should be okay. Kind of playing this a little bit weird, but it should be okay. I don't know. I'm just pushing buttons at this point. What's up, Master Bambo? Uh, Wade got another level up, although it wasn't super impressive. <laughs> I like that. I like that the developers chose, or the the writer of this game chose, to have a little dialogue bubble of Rucker there, just to say nothing. <laughs> yeah, there's an angelic robe, which is pretty important. I usually just give it to Roy, just to kind of bolster him a little bit. This guy's 31 health. What the fuck? Dude, I'm telling you, the units on this chapter are like not okay. They're crazy. But again, the nice thing is it's only the units that start on the chapter. Any reinforcement spawns mid-chapter are quite a bit weaker. That includes Rucker, well, not Rucker himself, but his team. Pardon me, you there. Me? Do you see anybody else? You are the leader of this little group, are you not? I am, most convenient. Very well then, you will protect me. <laughs> Excuse me? Hard of hearing? I said that you will protect me from harm. Mind your mouth, young lady. Away with you, peasant. I was not addressing you. What? Who do you think? Calm yourself, Merlinus. It looks like she's uh, being pursued by the castle soldiers. That's why she wants us to guard her. Right? 
Uh, yes, that is correct. I'm impudent child. We can't simply uh, accept any useless girl into our army. You may call me <laughs> Lady Clarion Peasant. <laughs> I love Clarion, dude. And I am not useless. I can use staffs to heal wounded allies and I can recruit Rutger. So you'll help us fight? If that's what it takes. I suppose I can't simply demand protection without any kind of payment. Thanks, we appreciate it. <laughs> what a great uh, exchange. Our enemy is burned, so we need to get, or we need everybody we can get. I'm Roy, pleased to meet you, Lady Clarion. The pleasure is all. Um, let's focus on the issue at hand. Clarion is uh, something else. We love Clarion. Okay, so. Uh, somebody's gonna have to go fight the pirates. I wanna kill as much of this as I can. This guy's nine speed, holy shit. You guys are so strong. Can you do anything? It's actually pretty good. I'm not gonna lie to you, that, that's actually kind of impressive damage. Um, How fast are you? Only 11, yeah. You're not even fast enough to double this guy. These enemies are so fast. It's pretty good damage. I wanna see what Wade can do. <laughs> he can get doubled. <laughs> that's the Wade classic. Uh, what about Lot? Lot probably doesn't get doubled. It's kind of crappy damage though. Watch me get crit here. Okay, we're good. Yes, we appreciate it. Sigma Roy is the best. Um, look, Clarion can recruit. Is not only a great healer, but can also recruit uh, Rucker, which is are two extremely important uh, things that only he can do, or she can do. I need to... maybe we just surround the archer? That could work. Alright, this is something that once we start doing it, we kind of have to just follow through, so... Because I can't really let Shannon get attacked. Roy is pretty great. I do like Roy. Roy is our boy. Um, okay, so then... I need to heal you. I need to kill this guy is what I need to do. How do we make that happen? I guess we'll start here, because at least this is a good hit. Okay, that's good. Let's protect Shanna at all costs, I agree. Shanna is the most important member of our army. Okay, why don't you do that, because at least that's pretty good damage. And the hit is good, uh, well, I don't know what it is with Alan, but this motherfucker will not hit. I have a whole video on, on my YouTube channel dedicated to a playthrough we had where he missed like just every single time. I'm gonna have to make another one. Jesus Christ, this guy, he just trolls. Never use, never use, uh, Alan, dude, he just trolls. God, that still doesn't kill. It's a bit annoying. Yeah, it's not very good either. Um, I guess Chad could go fight this guy. I've seen worse combat windows. I've seen better ones too. Uh, oh, four, okay, four would actually set up Wade. It's always Alan. All right. I, this is only a 62%. It's really important that he hits this. I trust Wade. I trust Wade with all my heart. See, Wade, Wade I think Wade better than Alan as uh, has been, just been confirmed right there. Like without a doubt, he's just better. Ooh, I kind of messed up Roy's movement here, huh? Cause I actually kind of wanted him to attack this guy. I could pick up, I could pick up Alan? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do you have seven movement or six movement? Seven movement, okay. Maybe that's a play we can make. I don't think it's the worst play I can think of. Okay. Hey, not the worst play I can think of is better than the worst play I can think of, so. Um, okay, so then you do that and then Marcus, you do that, and that should work out, but I need to heal Marcus, so Roy, you need to attack first. And then, do you double what? You don't, okay. So this should work out at least reasonably well. And I don't need to use Deke in this situation either, which is kind of nice. Okay, so attack this guy. A crit would've gone hard there.
Roy did have better accuracy, yeah, but I wanted to I wanted Roy to attack this guy just because the I'd get the weapon triangle on the lance. Whereas there's no way Wade would do anything against the sword guy. Oh, I didn't heal him! Oh no 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 no. That was a stupid decision on my part. Do you die to this guy? Probably, right? Because I have weapon triangle. 16. Oh, I don't actually. No, Marcus is a beast. Oh, the archer can also attack me? Uh, see that? Well, I, I guess I could just trade him onto his... Actually, if I trade him onto his sword, we should be perfectly fine. Yeah. That should work. Okay, so then you go attack this guy. Perfect. Turn here and we'll be back later. Alright, sounds good, Wheelie. This is what we respected love, true. Yeah, that was really nice for a Wade, for Wade to hit there. That was really nice. I should have, the whole plan was to heal Marcus before I did that, and then I just didn't. But, so that was not a great play, but. I think as long as I trade him onto a sword, he should be pretty fine here, I think. At least I hope. And then you just go there, and then I want to want to drop off whoever you're carrying, Alan, and then we'll heal Alan, I guess. Okay, then we should be good. Guess what we would have thought, W true. The Wade Parade never stops. You're throwing? I am. It's true. We should be good, though, because the, the axe hit is going to be like... Oh, actually... That'd be funny if that had hit. Mar um, Rucker moving where he just did means that the archer now can't attack Marcus. Obviously, I didn't know that, so it was not a good play on my part, but... Um, where Rucker just moved means that the archer can't attack. Dude, Rucker, even when he's an enemy, he's still helping me. What a homie. Just getting in the way of the units that spawn with him. Yeah, you can see how weak these um, these fighters are. Again, anyone that spawns on a chapter is infinitely weaker than the units that start. He shouldn't get, unless I totally misjudged this, he shouldn't get doubled here. Yeah, we're good. We are good. Okay, so let's recruit Rutger. Thank God we can. Oh, it's you. What? You're still here? Still here? You abandoned me in the middle of the battlefield. How can you have the nerve to say that? I could have been killed. I guess you're lucky you're still alive then. <laughs> Did you want something or can I go now? Just a moment. I shan't allow you to abandon me twice. A gentleman must take responsibility for his actions. Responsibility? For what? I saved you from that twisted sadist. If a gentleman uh, rescues a lady, he must also escort her to her mansion. <laughs> In what fairy uh, fairy tale does some barf of a man abandon his pr princess? What in the world are you on about? Besides, you said you despise Burn with all your soul. If you ask me, you'd be better off joining us. We'll be fighting Burn, you know. What? Wait, is that true? Is that army really? Is that army you're in really gonna challenge Burn? Yes, our leader Floyd or whatever his name is told me himself. <laughs> Fine, yes. I'll join your army, satisfied? No, I suppose. Wait. Your protection is more important than fighting burn, come back. You know, I it's just I think it's just been a lot a while since I've read Clarion's dialogue on this chapter, but it's really funny. <laughs> Holy shit. I didn't realize that he called him Lloyd or whatever. <laughs> That's really funny. Lloyd or whatever his name is. Oh my god, I kinda love Clarion. There might be my favorite, uh, my favorite character, low key. Yeah, I think it was, I think it was pretty small. Definitely something I didn't have to risk if I'd played better, but yeah, it wasn't too bad. Once I traded him onto the sword, it was like, it was a pretty low percentage. Wait, <laughs> Walt, Wade, <laughs> Weiss, Wolfia, and Warek. This is a W playthrough. True, though. True. <laughs> Wofia is pretty great. Can you kill here? Perfect. There's a nice ally clearing. With Narshan. Oh, can you. Can, do they have a conversation if you, like, fight Narshan while he's a boss with Clarine? I never, I never like give clearing weapons even when I promote her, so I don't think I've ever heard that. Okay, I want to do that now. 100%. That sounds really funny. Wuglis and Warris. 
<laughs> That's true. That's true. And Warkus and uh oh, we already did Wade. I believe in you, Wade. What a beast! What a beast! The nice I will say this. I always hate training Sophia, or in our case, Wolfia, because uh, the stupid flux animation in this game takes 10 years to watch, and so it's really tedious. But even though the axes miss a lot too, watching the axe animation never gets old. Watching them just go like with all their might and then it misses is funny every single time. I know that has nothing to do with gameplay, but just for that reason alone, it's much more fun to train fighters than dark mages. Should probably turn on his animation, right? Skip with fire tomes? We could. I, I always, in these games in particular, I always wind up promoting the healers at some point just because they get to like high enough level and then I, I never give them a, a single like way to fight. Because they wind up just being heal bots for me, but we could definitely do something with Clarine. Yeah, Ray's lack of hard mode bonuses really sucks. Also, dark magic in this game totally blows. Okay, I'm gonna let everybody enjoy Wade. He's our new uh, Marty. I gotta go to the bathroom really quick. I will be right back. Is that, is that a little toilet? <laughs> oh, I love the Max Bros. Most potential with the Brave Bow. It's 30 strength cap. Also, bows have really good hit in this game, which is definitely going to be beneficial. It's actually one of the things with Bartry. Did my, did my webcam suddenly get really blurry for some reason? <laughs> My the I swear it like it doesn't focus right or something. Okay, that looks a little better. That's weird. Cut the cheese with so sharp and chisel. He do he does have a nice jaw. He's looking good. A body trained to its utmost limits. He is a he is a beast. Unfortunately, unlike Marty, who actually comes with less speed somehow. Although I guess Bartry also comes with less speed, but unlike Marty, and unlike Bartry, I guess that actually has a pretty good speed growth, um, we can't just use a scroll to fix all the problems with, uh, with Wade, but maybe it's okay. Three skill? Yeah, it's not good. <laughs> it's not good. <laughs> it's not what I would call good. In fact, I would argue it's pretty bad. Okay, Marcus, you're gonna do... One more thing for me before I need you to go back and fight some reinforcements. You're gonna just sort of chip damage these guys. 
We're all on your side. We're not about to uh, abandon the land in which we were born. Please take this sword. It was given to us generations ago, a gift from the Marquess. Thank you. It's pretty useless, I'm not gonna lie, but I appreciate the effort. I appreciate you giving that to me. The Steel Blade in this game, if I remember correctly, I always just wind up selling it. I think it's like pretty dog shit. It has 60 hit and it weighs 14. I mean, it's not like terrible. I'm sure you can get uses out of it, but it's pretty sus. Uh, okay. Gonzalez, how many, how many axe bros are we gonna use? That is true, Gonzalez actually gets speed and doesn't need the scrolls. Lot also has, I think, an okay speed growth and doesn't need the scrolls. Silverblade for Deke? Is there Silverblade in this game? I think there is. Or Riot. Make him extremely strong. What I want to do with Deke is I want to I wanna do... Um, I don't remember the name. Is it the Armands? I don't remember the name of the... Um, the like legendary axe. One of my favorite things that I've ever done in Fire Emblem 6 was I had a playthrough where, where I used OJ and he was actually good. So that was number one, it was really bizarre. Um, but I had Armad's OJ at the end of the game and it was weird, but it was cool. The, the Murglis or Murglies. Yeah, 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 we can do that. Especially if we go Ilya and we don't use the Nomads, we'll have uh, an opportunity for some some archery. Okay, Marcus needs to go back here because there's going to be some reinforcements from back here and he's going to want to deal with uh, them. Uh, okay, Wade, I'm going to give you another shot here. I mean, I say another shot, but he's done great with the shots I've given him. They call him 100% Wade for a reason, you know? He never misses. Missing would be stupid, and Wade's not stupid. Come on, stick a like, that's true. That's true. That would be cool to see, though. That would be really cool. Um, do I want to buy... I usually buy something for Lou. I don't even know if we're using Lou. I'm going to be honest, this playthrough is a little... It's a little funky right now. I feel like I want to train about 30 different units. <laughs> I don't know who we're actually going to train. Except for Wade. We're definitely going to do Wade, and I want to do Dorothy. Because I've never done Dorothy before. Those are the those are the two I want to do for sure. And I kind of want to I kind of want to use Shanna as well, because I don't think I've ever I haven't used Shanna in quite some time, even, even though she's actually like a pretty good unit. So maybe we just don't use Lou on this playthrough. Man, it's like it's like sacrilege for me not to use Lou. I love him so much, but maybe there just isn't room for our, our little magic boy. I don't know. And I want to use Deke as well. Triangle attack, exactly. We can use um Shanna and uh her sister. Tate? Yeah, Tate, I think. Dorothy Wade don't mix super well together. I guess they're both dog shit units. <laughs> That's probably true. That's probably true. <laughs> A terrible unit and an even worse unit don't really mix. That is true though that they will overlap the bows, which is really unfortunate. I don't love that. Oh, is it used Lalina? I actually love Lalina. I think Lelina is so unique. Like, outside of I guess loot, she's like the only all the all the like mages in the fire in the GBA games are like little magic boys, which sounds really weird, but you know what I mean? Like they have they're like fast and have like okay magic. But Lelina is like a nuke, dude. I love Lelina. Maybe we'll use Lelina. I love Lelina. She is terrible, but I love Lelina. You do get Hugh, that's true. As long as we have the money. The problem with Hugh, here, here's the problem with Hugh, right? On the chapter that you can recruit Hugh, by recruiting him, by paying him money, you forgo like two angelic robes or like an angelic robe and a half. 
And it's really tough to convince me that he was worth, like, an angelic robe and a half. So both want Espen? Yeah. That, that is the unfortunate thing, is you can only have one to use the bow. Which is kind of sad. To be wet paper. Yeah, that's true. Although you can buy all the um, you can buy all the angelic robes and kind of make her okay. But yeah, she is she is wet sandpaper. Lelina combines two really rough things. Um, Wade actually does this too. It's it's like she's got really low defense, which is already really bad, and really low speed. So not only does she take hits like not well at all, um, but she gets doubled too, <laughs> which is a really bad combination. <laughs> Uh, but she eventually gets there on speed. It, her speed isn't like dog shit forever. But. Okay, do you need to like not die maybe? That would be great. Should probably just back up and heal you, to be honest. So he's nuking any enemy? Yeah. That's what I love about her. That, that's why I think she's so much fun to use. Like, it's, it's just so rare in the GBA games that you get a magic user with, like, good magic, like... Also, I just love mages in this game. By the end game, the ability to have, like, consistent hit in the end game where unit avoid is just, like, through the roof is really valuable, and... Like, you know what's one of the most annoying bosses in this game? Is that Swordmaster boss, Gel, on the Sakai route? Do you know who obliterates Gel without issue? Lelina. Especially with Roy support, which you'll just get naturally. That's another good point. Yeah, luck. <laughs> so I can't take hits well. I get doubled. <laughs> and I get crit pretty consistently. Boy, what a, what a unit. What is his luck right now? Oh, it's not too bad. Lot has really bad luck. I feel like Wade's luck is okay, at least. That's a bad combination, though. Lot is actually like a pretty good unit. He's actually got, I think Lot is like a 30% defense growth or something. It's not too bad. Yeah, you can't look at the growths. You know, um, you know what people, uh, apparently there's a way in like hacks to make it so that you can look at growths like during the gameplay. It's really cool. I didn't know that was a thing, but apparently. It's a pretty cool way to do it. I can't believe this war is happening. We'll all suffer under Burns iron fisted rule, but you just might be able to stop them. Here's something that will help you fight a little longer. Think carefully before using it. Thank you. That is a very useful item. And Faze Corral, is he really? Wait, I kind of want to look at the growths real quick. Oh, somebody followed. Uh, Samaj, Samaj, uh, 617, thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. I should really figure out a way that I can actually like see notifications and, but I appreciate it. Hope you're enjoying the stream. It's a pretty good level up. Uh, yeah, let's look at his growths. Okay, a lot. Oh, it's 40%, it's even higher than I thought. Yeah, 40% defense growth is super sweet. Uh, Wade... Wade actually has a 30% defense growth. That's not terrible. His skill growth is 45. That's not bad. The problem with Wade is his speed growth is 20, which is not very good. But... Wade is basically just a much worse lot. Although he does have a much better strength growth. And to be honest, lot only has 15% more speed. So it's actually not that different. Yeah, I mean, ultimately, Wade is really just a worse version of Lot, but still. Okay, maybe Deke needs some help back here. He's getting a little bit... Well, maybe he's okay. Okay, can you stop getting hit by the 23%? Wait, the champ, absolutely. Also, by the way, I didn't mention this, but... Uh, Shanna got a defense growth. Shanna has eight defense. That's a lot of defense. Shanna is like weirdly bulky. 
Uh, who wants to kill Eric? I'm assuming Wade probably can't. I think Rucker always can. That's always an option. Uh, let's lure him out. Maybe I can kill Mashana or, uh, or Wade or somebody. Now, her strength is uh, pretty ass, but defense growth or the defense is actually pretty nice. Okay, I always just give the first Angelic Robe to Roy. I actually think that probably the better decision is not to give it to Roy, just because you can get a lot more utility out of other units. Like, in an ideal world, Roy never needs the um, the Angelic Robe, but it really helps with consistency, and when you're doing an Iron Man, uh, it's really all about consistency. You want to get as much of that as you can, so... Yeah, that's true. That's true. He is really strong, and he is stronger than Lot, which is nice. I mean, you can make the argument that if you get enough strength, you don't need any speed to be able to kill people because you just one-shot them. Also, we need to do a little bit of shopping before I leave, but we can worry about that in a second. Defense for Pegasus Knight? Yeah, it's weird. I think she comes base 7 or something. It's kind of high. Although, I don't think her growth is very good. Shannon the tank. Well, the problem with Shannon is that her HP is dog shit. Thirty percent Sadiq. That is true. That is true. And these are forties. I thought these percentages were a little bit lower. If I'm being honest, that was actually a little sus what I did there, but should be okay. The hand axes are only like twenty threes, so I thought it was okay, but definitely a risk we didn't really need to take. Turn the submit does like one damage to Shanna. <laughs> That's true. She is a peculiar unit for sure. Hey, good, good dodge. Why doubling when you can just kill? True. You know, even though his his speed growth may be terrible, the fact that he comes with two more speed than Bartry means that. Bartram probably won't even catch up in speed for like quite some time. Bartram from 7, of course. Did you give the robe to Shanna? Ooh, that's actually a really good place to put the robe, yeah. Maybe I should have done that if I'm serious about trading Shanna. Like I said, though, on an Iron Man, I still do like giving it to Roy. I, I just think, again, consistency and all that stuff, but... Um, but yeah, that's actually a, probably a pretty good place to put it. I also think Lou can be pretty benefited from it. I think you can also just give it to like Lancer Allen or like Deke, for example, and they can go crazy with it. Also Rucker, maybe. Although Rucker's got pretty good HP, he's pretty bulky, but there's a lot of good options with it, to be honest. But the really nice thing about giving Roy a couple of angelic robes, and I think as long as he gets like just two or three over the course of the game, uh, maybe not even that many, uh, he gets to the point where he can survive like Siege Tomes in the late game. And the nice thing about Siege Tomes is that they don't, uh, they will never really double. Dude, Wade is a beast. Wade is a beast. I love Wade. Look at that, what a beast, what a beast! That was a great level up. I mean, no speed, but that's just kind of the, kind of the way it is. Uh, okay. Merlin just needs to do some shopping for me, but other than that, we should be pretty good to go here. Who wants to kill this boss? Maybe Alan? Maybe Lance? Not the most amazing thing I've ever seen in my life. Um, could work though. He doesn't miss. You know, the the game may show a percentage, but then there's the the Wade percentage, which is a hundred every single time. I have given him, I think, like, three opportunities in this chapter to get kills, and he's hit every single time, so... You fools are bound down by moldy old tradition. Allow me to teach you the way of the world. Oh god, he doubles me. <laughs> oh god. Also, people attacking Wade don't miss, apparently. Okay, so as long as Deke kills one, he shouldn't die to the other. Yeah, so we should be good down here. I thought Deke would actually handle these pirates quite a bit better, but they've kind of been kicking his ass. But he should be good now. I 
so give me, I usually like to buy just like five heals. And then I don't really know that I'm gonna use loot. Just give me like two fires. I can always buy some more later. Okay, Wade needs to back up. Um, can you fight him? God, that is just not very good. <laughs> I don't love that crit. Um, do I have like a horse slayer or something? I don't think I do. Well, we can always use Marcus. I mean, oh, actually, yeah, I guess we can use Lance. I don't know. It's not like the worst thing I've ever seen. It's Wade hit versus Trivia versus Wade hit. Exactly. That's pretty bad. Let's not do that. Do we have a halberd? Okay. I thought that, yeah, I thought there was some kind of like, I'm, this halberd hit is going to be awful though. I mean, we, it's going to be like 10%, but we could definitely go for it. Oh, him switching to the sword is actually kind of bad, I think. Do you remember, um, what were we doing? I think that was a lot. Lot was like hammering against um, that one boss, uh, the Ostian boss. I don't know if anybody remembers that, but that was a that was a good time. I don't think you can buy axes at the beginning, so I'm gonna buy a bunch of axes here. I think that's pretty much all I want. I think swords are good, so I'll buy like one of those. But okay, somebody needs to go get me my halberd. Okay. Oh, I believe in Wade for sure. I believe in Wade. We need to get this guy off of the sword, but we can do that next turn. <laughs> Excuse me. The one percent credit a counter attack. <laughs> uh, yikes! <laughs> it's not not the way we drew it up. Get him to switch to, yeah, yeah, we'll get him to switch to, um, oh, wait, does somebody have it right now? Oh, Chad probably does. Yeah, okay. Okay, so Javelin me, Javelin me daddy, and we're gonna heal Wade. Guys, he has so much health. I, oh, I should have given the robe to Wade, that would have been sick. I'm pretty useless, but. Does it purge the RNG? Yeah, it, that's like, you, the enemy gets one, you know? <laughs> Is Adora a dodge tag? Okay, what does this percentage look like? That's not terrible. Do we believe? Do we believe in Wade? Because I do. I believe in Wade. Alright, let's run it. Ah, damn. He tried though. He tried. That's fine. We can we can give it another. Uh, we can give it another try. I believe in Wade. Good. Good. Thankfully, we can pick him up. Just gotta go back to the nurses' station back here. Give the robe to Wade. Yeah, it's probably not a great place to put it. I already gave the robe to Roy, so I I can't meme with it, unfortunately. Or fortunately, depending on uh, your perspective, I guess. Can he one-shot even if Eric has full health? I think he can. All right, round two. Damn. Okay, that's all right. That's all right, you know. Even Michael Jordan was, like, pretty bad at basketball for a little while, you know. It's tough. You gotta, you gotta get your reps in. He'll figure him out. Actually, let's have Clary and use the men's staff, because I want to train her more. Another heal staff? I, I don't even know if I can afford one, to be honest. Uh, we can do one more. I just bought five. I think that should probably be enough, but... He is trying his best. I, I will give Wade that. Does he die? Nope. Ooh, is he at full health? Why well, he could just barely kill him. That's really good. Because we don't need to chip him with anything. Okay. Alright, we'll get there. <laughs> I believe. Oh, Lumis! 
That'll be easier to heal him now. We love that. We love that. Should probably get you another heal stuff. <laughs> this is gonna be awesome when it happens, yeah. Yeah, I should say if it happens. <laughs> It'll happen. I'll sit here until it happens. I think she has the steel blade, actually. Oh, I can buy one more. Yeah, we'll buy one more. Why not? It's never a bad idea to buy a million heal staves. Did we get any support with anybody? I don't... Oh, wait, and Deke! Okay. Well, we can try it without it, but we can bring Deke up here. Alright, I believe in you, Wade. It'll I mean, we, we can sit here for forever. It will happen eventually. I think it's 32% is not that bad. If this was like 10%, I might be like, this is stupid, but... Not 30%, I'm okay with 30%. Like I said, I, on my last Fire Emblem 6 playthrough, I'm pretty sure I sat there and watched Lot do like a 10% on the Ostian boss, so... This is nothing. <laughs> All right, Wade, you're doing a great job. Don't get me wrong, but I brought you a friend to maybe help you out a little bit. Oh, we, we need to talk though, I think. Yeah. Wade, let me talk to you for a sec. Oh, huh? sure. Pay more attention to what's going on around you. The way you fight, you're just asking to be killed. Ah, oh, come on, big man, I haven't died yet. I can crush anything with these massive arms. I've heard those same words from plenty of young hotshots before. They're all dead now. You just worry me is all. Well, all right. You're the boss, big man. Good. I'm glad you could take some criticism. <laughs> you think you think that Wade will actually take that criticism? Uh, okay, do I get any more hit? No, I think that's the same hit. Well, whatever. Okay, we'll try. We'll, we'll get there. Is it 16%? Is it that low? Jesus Christ. I've seen a lot of 30%. We, hell, Deke watched multiple 30%, 20% even hit him in the face in this chapter, so. Did he give two hit? Oh, I always thought it was in increments of five. Okay. <laughs> two is better than zero, I guess. Oh my god. How many times? Do you have an over under on how many times it's gonna take to. <laughs> Eric's missing now too! Everybody sucks. The fact that the fact that Wade can exactly one-shot this guy means it's like it's like destiny that he that he should do this, right? Like, there's no way he can't. There's no way I can do this with anybody else. Like the fact that he deals exactly 34 damage is just too perfect. And he has 34 hit! That's that's just too perfect. It'd be a little more perfect if he actually hit, but, you know. <laughs> Ow. On the plus side, this is actually a pretty good experience for uh, clearing. And Ellen, I suppose. There's no way it wasn't meant to be true. True. Oh, if he crits? Oh my god, that would be so hype. Dude, if Wade crit? Oh, I would lose my shit. That would be so sick. I mean, the percentage of that happening is like... Insanely low, but that would be super hype. I would, I would just... I would stop playing Fire Emblem for... I, there'd just be no no more peaks to be, to be had, you know? If he crit this guy. There'd be nothing left to accomplish. Yes! Alright, no crit. We don't have to stop playing Fire Emblem forever. Ah, fools, there is no future for those who oppose absolute power. Wade is absolute power, my guy. Oh, nice level up, too. Would love to see it. What a beast. Look at this man right here. Look at his little smirk. He knows what he did. 
He's 70 hit with that. Oh my god, it's so bad. Yeah, the hammer has even worse hit. The hammer, the hammer has 45 hit. That's so ass. Oh my god. Alright, uh, I don't think there's anything else I want to do here. Yeah, I think we've done all the shopping we want to do. Alright, let's get out of here. Lord Roy, the main, remaining soldiers from Laos are retreating. Thank you. Tell everyone to get some rest. Yes, my lord. Roy, are you alright? I never would have thought that Lord Eric would turn against Lycia. I never thought that the Lycian League's bond was stronger than this. Or I, I did think that the... Halberd Wade's so clean. <laughs> the most powerful thing in the game. Cowardly burn, underhanded tactics. I apologize. Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't even thinking about you. No, you're correct. We'll now proceed uh, west towards Ostia, but now we have now we know that even the other Marquesas uh, can't be trusted. With Lord Hector gone, I fear there will be no peaceful end for this war. Princess, do you plan on returning to Burn if you need anything? No, please allow me to stay. If it would not burden, uh, if it would not be a burden, you will burden never. But why do you wish to stay? My brother is wrong. He is pulling the dragons into a human war. If he thinks this is uh, how we can free the world, we must stop him. Free the world. Yes, he's always been opposed uh, or obsessed with liberating the world. He says there is the that's the purpose of this war. What does that mean? I don't know. My brother is not so power hungry that he would attempt to conquer the world. I'm sure he believes strongly in what he's doing in Alib. Regardless, that doesn't excuse the violence he has caused. Princess Guinevere. He's kind of based a little bit, honestly. He's like, look, humanity's fucked, so I'm just gonna blow it all up. Which, you know, I mean, it's a reasonable take. Uh, Marquesas Laos uh, had been working with Burn against his allies in Lycia. Roy realizes that the leaders of Lycia, his homeland, can no longer be trusted. Still heading for Ostia, Roy moves through a tre treacherous mountain path. Oh, this chapter's annoying. I always hated this chapter. Boss, our boys just got back from scouting the village. Then let's get, uh, let's go get our tribute. But boss, something's a little different today. There's an army stationed real close to us. They say it looks like the Lycian army. Lycia? Then there's nothing to worry about. They were almost wiped out by burn. We can handle a few battered soldiers. You're right, boss. Uh, they probably got some valuables on them too. Still, don't get careless. Ready then, let's mop up these losers, boys. <laughs> A villager's here to see you, Lord Roy. Hey you, wait a second. Are you Lord Roy of House Foray? Yes, how may I help you? My lord, I beg of you. Please, rid us of the bandits terrorizing our village. Bandits? There's a group of bandits that made their base in the castle near the cliffs. Where are the castle guards? They fled once they heard that the Lycian army was defeated by Burn. We villagers are left on our own. Our days are spent in fear of bandit attacks. We have no one else to ask for help. Please help us. Lord Roy, we must keep our pace toward Ostia. Yes, I know. But we can't simply ignore people in need of help. You're joking. You will help us? Thank you. Please use the west, uh, the gate to the west. I'll take you right to the, it'll take you right to the castle. Thank you. I'll arrange for the gate to be opened when you give the sim signal. Merlinus, we're gonna, the castle to drive off the bandits. Ah, oh, youthful energy, where does it come from? Although I will not be using the strategy that that guy uh, recommended. Confirm seven to get saved by Rose Dad. That is the same name. Wait. This was a great villain. Wait, are you saying that that the Zephyl in Final Seven is different than the Zephyl in in Final Six? Is it true? I don't remember the gate. Yeah, me neither. Opening the gate is like pretty sus. I mean, you could definitely make it work, and the like proper way to handle this chapter, I suppose, would be doing that. But it, it's pretty scary. Do you get doubled? Eight speed? No, just barely not. Does Wade get doubled? What kind of a question is that? Different from six and are they different? Oh, are you just saying that they're like uh, that they're they act so differently? But isn't he a kid in Fire Emblem Seven? Isn't that kind of the point? Unless they're actually supposed to be. Especially for my waifu unit lot. Thank you. Thank you, Akuma, uh, Akuma 
Gath or Kath? I appreciate it. We do love lots, although this is more of a this is more of a Wade uh, playthrough at the moment, but I'm a big fan of Lot. Uh, normally, actually, the the way that the units are positioned at the beginning here is really annoying because Wade is terrible, and you never really want him to put him on a fort because he usually just dies. But our Wade is uh, good, so it's actually not so bad. Although still not good enough to probably want him to take that fort alone, but... From 7 writing, being stupid, I'll die in that hill. I mean, I, I believe you. Admittedly, I haven't, like, read through the Fire Emblem 7 story in quite some time, so... When we get there, I'll, I'll probably uh, understand it a little bit better, but... I, I, get what you, I get what you're saying. I, I understand. I do like Zephyl in this game. It is kind of a cool, like... Not that he's altruistic, but like his, oh, Wade could totally die here. Um, his goals are more, they're different than like, I want to take over the world or even that I want to revive a demon. I guess it's it's ultimately the same as like, I want to revive a demon because the demon will take over the world because the dragons will take over the world. But like the reason he's doing it isn't because he's like a prophet of the demon. It's because he, he's just so fed up with the world. <laughs> Thank you, Dorothy. Please tell Brother Saul as well. Yes, uh, I will, Father Yoder. But where did Saul run off to now? How am I supposed to guard him if he keeps disappearing? Uh, Brother Saul, I appreciate the offer, but not tonight. Come now, don't be like that. We can sit by the fire in the dark of night as I soothe you with my warming or my calming sermons. There you are, Saul. Wonderful, Dorothy. I'll take my leave now. No, don't go. Oh my, look what you've done now, Dorothy. That expression on your face scared her away. This is my normal look. Saul, you can't try to woo every girl you meet. You make it sound like a bad thing. I simply offer my healing hand to any poor souls that need it. Then why do you always offer to give your sermons at night? <laughs> that is a little weird. Well, putting that aside, did you have some uh, reason for interrupting my good work? Oh, right. The Lycian army is apparently somewhere around here. Truly, is Princess Guinevere still with them? Yes, if the reports from the, Ele from the St. Elamine Church are accurate. Then we must make haste. Let us join them. What's the matter, Dorothy? You only want to join them because Princess Guinevere is said to be so beautiful. Don't be ridiculous. Come on, hurry along. Yes, let's go. Yes, let us go. So, this chapter, if you don't handle it by, um... Yeah, I get one shot. Giving Lou a level or two is actually pretty useful for this chapter, because he can sit on this um, this mountain tile and do pretty good work, but I didn't do that, so... Uh, I don't really know that I'm going to be able to use Wade here. I don't really trust him. I think this is a probably like a Lance, Alan Marcus situation. Yeah, sorry, Wade. I love you. Don't get me wrong, but I don't really trust you that much, so... Now let's go with humanity because of his father. Yeah, exactly. It's, you know, whether you like that approach or not, at least it's different than a lot of the other games, which I definitely appreciate. Like, the, the main sort of evil person... I mean, don't get me wrong, Zephyl is, like, a piece of shit. Um, but, like, the main evil guy in, like... E even even I do... Like, the final, final boss of this game, obviously you can, you can save her and you should to get the true ending. Like, isn't necessarily a bad guy, which is kind of cool. It's definitely something that they don't explore very often in the games. So, I, I like it. I think it's pretty good. Also, I like that Zephyr's got a little spunk to him. They tend to make the, the evil guys, like... Like, a little smarmy. Which I kind of like, you know? Well, I, I love Raedric from, uh... Uh, from a five, even though Radric does not have anywhere near enough screen time, he should definitely be in the game more. But. but yeah, it's cool. Did Rucker just miss a whole bunch? What just happened there? Can we not do that? I usually just have, um, I usually just have, uh, Roy fight these guys in the mountains. It's not the most fun thing in the world, because they just keep attacking with the hand axe, but it's all 0% hit, so Roy can do it pretty consistently, and it usually gives him, like, a level, which is kind of nice. 
Giving her experience isn't exactly like the most important thing in the world to do, but did he miss twice? Is that what just happened? He missed two 85s? Holy shit. I was kind of I was kind of looking away, so I didn't realize that that's what he did, but that's kind of nutty actually. How do I want to do this? I want to kill this guy if I can. Not like that. <laughs> Not like that. Um, do I trust Deke doing this? I should trade him off that, but yeah, not too bad. Okay, very nice. Wait over Rucker, true. I bet Wade's hit against this guy would actually be zero. 285s though, that's kind of crazy, especially with true hit. It's kind of nuts. That resistance is kind of cool. Wasn't the best level I've ever seen, but. I might actually just Silver Lance this guy. Yeah, I actually kind of want to just kill this guy. He's pretty annoying. Apparently this guy is just the like second coming of, of Christ. Holy shit. How do you kill this guy? How do you kill the man that you can't hit? Uh, sure. Hopefully I don't get hit here. Okay, very nice. Do we want to, do we want to see what Wade's hit would be on that mercenary? I'm kind of curious to look. It's gonna be really bad. It's 40 per Wait, that's actually like, kind of better than I was expecting, low key. I mean, I don't think we should do it because I think Wade will probably die, but, well, seven damage. Yeah, I can't really get him to kill, but that's, that's not that bad. Considering what I was expecting to see there, that's not terrible. I want to do it, but I think he'll die is the problem, because I think if he does that, he could die to the Hand Axe, which is scary. Uh, maybe not, I don't know. But I don't want to lose our boy. She's good at dodging? It seems that way. It definitely seems that way. Okay, I think we're okay other than that. Lance should be alright where he is, I think. It's, it's scary. It's like the percentages are really low, and with true hit, like they're really low. But if he gets hit, that could be really sketchy. Although, actually, if Lance gets hit, he'd have to get hit by like two twenty percent. So it's not that crazy. Nice. We could try to we could try to kill him with Wade. No, I think he probably can. Yeah. Very nice. The problem is that without weapon triangle, the hand axes have bad hit, but not like super bad hit. Like, still okay. Uh, I still don't really trust him though. Th these nomads are going to be really annoying. Yeah, we should probably still wait one more turn, I think. Uh, I think I'm going to move up to here. If you can just kind of base around the, the... The thing is, axe hits are really bad, and if you can combine that with the forest tiles or fort tiles, you can pretty much make it... Not 100% consistent, but pretty darn consistent. Which is nice. Like, I don't really trust 30s or 40s, but I trust like 10s or 20s, you know? At least, at least, like, hitting multiples in a row. Uh, yeah, you don't need to kill him. I can kill him with somebody else. Okay, this hit is going to be absolutely pathetic, but I don't want Wade to go out there, so this is the best I can think of. Actually, didn't I buy some hand axes? Oh, I didn't. I meant to. Okay, this is the best I can do. Okay. <laughs> oh, we tried. Oh, we got a, a, an axe level increase from that. A bit odd, but, you know, we'll take it. Uh, yeah, if you miss, it's okay. Okay, very nice. Maybe Alan will finally get a decent level up. Yeah, yeah, okay. I was about to say, uh, no, he's terrible, but no, that was, um, that was a good one. Lance should be okay, I think. We're, oh, definitely do not equip the Lance, though. Um, I guess I'll do this for some experience, but we should be good. Okay. 
Somebody can pick her up, right? Yeah. One of the annoying things about Thandia and these or Shanna in these first couple uh these first handful of chapters is that it's kind of tough to find. Once you can promote Shanna, she actually becomes pretty strong because there's a lot of axe users in the mid game. And the ability to use swords is really good. I don't know why I always get like my nose gets stuffed up whenever I record these. Whenever I stream these. I'm gonna be honest, that one crit is a little bit scary, but if that guy crit with a four hit four percent hit, it would actually just be so funny that I'd be okay with it. Like I would rather there be no crit, obviously, but oh Wade's about to get shit on here. Yeah. <laughs> That's alright. As long as he doesn't die. That's all that matters. Did that guy really double me? That means he has 12 speed? Is holy shit. It's kinda nuts. No, 11. Oh, I thought I had 8 speed. Still a lot. Um. Okay, I guess kill these guys. Can you double either of them? No. It's kind of a bummer. Can you double either of them? Oh my god, why does every everybody so ass? Uh, let me get a big Silver Lance hit here for, to start with. Okay, very nice. You know it's are scary, I agree. Welcome back, Wheelie. Uh, nope, no deaths. We had Wade kill uh, Eric on the previous chapter. Um, it took a while, because the Halberd hit is really awful, but... No deaths. Said that uh, Halberds don't work on Nomads, yeah. The Rapier, too, would be really nice if they did, but... Unfortunately, they do not. Definitely kind of weird. <laughs> okay, defense is nice. Uh, yeah, he keeps getting... I mean, he doesn't get speed, but he's he's getting decent level ups. The speed thing is is unfortunate because he keeps getting doubled by everything, but... That's just kind of... Uh, <laughs> that's just kind of who he is. Okay. It, it, man, it is tough to hit stuff with 80%. Alright, wait, what can you do? Yo, that actually kills! Wait, I believe. Imagine, though. Imagine. That would've been sick. Wait, we're actually in, like, kind of an awkward position now. Uh, I actually need to kill this guy. Do I need the 60% to hit? Ooh. Well, no, I could always use Rucker. Landstique, Allen. Yeah, that, that should work. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'll do this. If it hits, great. If it doesn't, it's not the biggest deal in the world. Okay, perfect. Imagine if Wade hit that, though. That would have been sick. I do need to probably kill this guy because he's going to attack Clarine, which I don't love. Uh, so I guess, can you kill this guy? Yeah, that should work. And then we should be pretty well set up for the next turn. Yeah, you have a sword equipped? Yeah. Yeah, we should be good. Okay, you stay where you are, Roy. Should be okay, yeah. They love that 1% crit. That's probably why they're attacking Rucker. Do, 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 do. Oh, I'm dumb. I didn't think he could get on that. I should have moved Roy up one. It's fine. Whatever. Like I said, Roy can kill these guys or not kill these guys. It doesn't really matter too much. I just kind of let him do his thing over here. Uh, the Rapier gives, like, slightly better stuff. It's not really that important to conserve the Rapier in this game. I will say, if things get really bad, Roy does have some utility, specifically on Chapter 7. Because there's a lot of um, Cavaliers that are really tough to kill. But usually you don't need to use him for that. And um, our Roy probably won't be strong enough. Excuse me. Okay, Wade. I believe in you, buddy. Alright, well. Apparently we used up all of our Wade luck on the previous chapter. Because uh, he is uh, he is a struggling. He is a struggling. Okay, that should work. Let me 
ancients is so bad. Yeah, it's just that mountain tiles give so much a void. That's why usually I like to try to... I, I like to position them a little bit differently so the bandit's not on the mountain, but... The nice thing is the enemy has, like, I think really low hit, and he... Oh, I didn't give him a vulnerary. We can always give him a vulnerary with Shanna, though, if we really need it. He should be okay. It's actually pretty, like, important to keep somebody back there to keep the brigands busy or to just kill them flat out because we're going to want to sit on these fort, uh, these um, forts so the reinforcements don't spawn and uh, you don't really want to be fighting those uh, brigands from the back. Did they have zero hit? Okay, then, then we should be totally fine. We should be good to go. This guy, I believe, does not move. This guy, I think, might. Uh, if this guy moves, he can attack me, but I don't think he does. But yeah, I've always found uh, Roy to do a good job on that. And like I said, he gets a little bit of experience, which is kind of nice. Probably have you stand there. We have a lot of chaff in our army right now. No offense to our army, but... Yeah, I don't, I don't think he does. I don't think a lot of the mercenaries move. These mercenaries are really annoying because they're like nuts and a lot of times they'll wind up on these forest tiles and it's just like impossible to hit them. They're so annoying. The nice thing is this guy's not on a forest tile, but yeah, he's like 28 avoid. That will go up to like close to 50 on the forest tiles. It's really annoying. The mercenary starts close to the boss. Oh, like this one. Yeah, they're pretty nuts. All these mercenaries are like pretty ridiculous. Yeah, 13 speed, Jesus. Oh, this one. Oh my God, this guy's even scarier. The nice thing is that he has Steel Blade, and Steel Blades suck ass. So he actually only has like 9 speed, but yeah. Enemy mercenaries, and he this will be true for heroes later on in the game too, are definitely some of the scariest units in the game. Yeah, look how hard he hits me. Jesus Christ. How do you kill these guys? Marcus Silverland is a pretty good way to do it. Hold on, before you go, take this lance with you. It was once wielded by a knight called Sir Gant. The stories say he bested many a foe with this lance. Thank you. You are, oh, can he be even, even stronger than that? I know they're pretty ridiculous. I don't really know their like stats that well. I wonder if this guy will move if I move up a little bit. If I move like here and he moves, I can get him to not be on a forest tile, which would be pretty cool. Trying to manipulate these units to not be on forest tiles is a pretty useful endeavor. early game mercenaries yeah they're they're not easy to, to deal with and then like i said the even heroes as the game progresses are like one of the scarier units you can encounter probably not the scariest just because wyverns are like so scary in the late game here but they're pretty scary you definitely have to be really careful of the heroes that's actually another reason that I've always found uh, Swordmasters in particular to be pretty good in this game because stuff like enemy heroes, there's uh, like speeds in particular go way up. Oh my god, he can deal 15 damage. Traditionally is. Yeah, I think the next chapter is the first um, like preparation screen we get, I believe. So there's not quite so much chaff. Well, I did get him to stand. Oh my god. I did get him to stand on not a forest tile. Unfortunately, uh hasn't quite worked out for me. This guy's also on not a forest tile, but. I guess I'll just back up and try to get him to stand on another not a forest tile. Um, Shannon, if there's any way you could, like, skirt around and get on that fortress, that would be pretty cool. Or that fort, I mean. It's not really a fortress. Okay, we need to take this kind of slow. Do, 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 do. I actually could be using Merlinus pretty aggressively here because one of the great things about Merlinus is if he dies, it doesn't matter. Although he does usually take a deployment slot, so. But in the early game, he's just a free death as much as you want it. 
Merlinus is oddly like a pretty good character in this game. <laughs> like it's really hard to rank him because he's so unique. But he is cool. How scary are you? 15 attack. I think Shannon can probably fight you unless this guy starts moving, but I think I'm gonna sneak onto this fort. It's actually pretty useful to get onto the forts because you stop the reinforcements from spawning. It's not like they're that scary. I mean, they're just um, like fighters or brigands, but I don't know. It's nice, it's nice to not have to deal with them for sure. Okay, how much can you whack this guy for? That's good enough for me. Okay, perfect. This is another situation where the Silver Lance is so nice. You also get another Silver Lance, I believe, on the next chapter. And we just got the Gant Lance, so we're actually looking pretty good as far as um, like cool lances is concerned. Is there any world where I want to do that? I can probably kill this guy without needing Rutger. What's Wade's hit? 16? Okay. Mm, maybe not. Okay, we can set that up. Okay, Iron Man, low luck, what an iconic thing. Yeah, it's it's sus for sure. You really never know what you're gonna get. Rucker's definitely one of those characters that can just instant melt in a game. Ugh. We've definitely used up all of our Wade luck, it seems. Unfortunately. I don't think I'm gonna do that. I think I'd rather just kill this. Well, he's not gonna be able to hit any. I mean, he's gonna be so useless. I can't kill. Yeah, I'm not strong enough. Uh, I mean, 88's not that bad, and if he dies, kind of who cares? I don't really want to do that, though. Yeah, let's just kill this guy. It's probably the safest thing to do, to be honest. I mean, he'll get attacked, but if Rucker gets crit, he gets crit. I mean, that, that's just the way it goes. You could certainly try to avoid crit altogether with Rucker, but you kind of have to encounter it at some point. Hey, we got a point of luck. Pretty good. One of the great things about Rucker, I mean, there's a lot of great things about Rucker, but one of the most amazing things is like, because his bases are so good, and what he needs to do, like Rucker could have like 0% growths and still be really solid. So it kind of doesn't matter. Like his level ups kind of don't matter. I mean, they, they do obviously that that's, you know, hyperbole, but like if Rucker only gets one strength every like, five levels or whatever, it's really not bad. Or at least not that bad. Like a shitty Rucker is still pretty amazing. The only thing that Rucker levels really matters for is like late, late game Rucker. But Rucker kind of falls off no matter what after a certain point, so it doesn't matter too much. Okay, we avoided the, the three crit, although that wouldn't have killed to be honest. This guy's even got a crit. Oh my goodness. Shit is gonna be fighting this guy until the end of fucking time. Okay, we avoided all the crit. We love that. The great thing again is that this guy is not on a forest tile. Excuse me. If that no man m moves, this is gonna be a little sus. Because I, I can't really let him attack Shanna. Okay, he didn't move. We love that. I don't really love this whole one crit against Shanna thing this guy's got going on, but I don't really have much recourse to it at the moment. This might just be a if she gets crit, she gets crit type situation. I don't know the exact turn the reinforcements spawn, but it's got to be pretty soon. All right, Wade, show me what you got. You know what, Wade? I believe in you. We, this is this is not Wade's chapter. Last chapter, Wade's chapter. This chapter, less so. Less so. Although 42 hit against that unit is actually a bit more than I was expecting, if I'm being honest. Uh, okay, somebody does need to kill him. What could do with Rucker to heal him. What's your movement? Uh, sure. 69 hit, it's got a hit. Nice. It's 
Troy is so unlike him. I know. I don't know what's gotten into Wade. He's choking. You know, Wade before was played with no pressure on him, you know? But now there's all this pressure on Wade. Because he's proven that he can do it. That he can win the big games. But now it just seems like he's choking. I think when the pressure is on and we really need Wade to hit something to, like, survive, I think he'll hit. The problem is we're giving him all these, like, crappy hits where it doesn't matter. Like, he didn't need to kill that guy. And if Wade doesn't need to kill somebody, then why would he, you know? I think that's the problem. Also, why didn't I heal Wade? I don't know. That, was, that probably would have been a good idea. They also from carry you to your chapter 4? That's true. That is true. If this was Fire Emblem 5, he definitely would have been, like, hella fatigued. I'm just waiting for Shanna to be 1% uh, crit here. I feel like it will happen for sure. Hit. Ah, everything misses. Wade's back is only so strong. That's very true. That's very true. Wade is amazing, but, you know, there are limits even to, uh, to him. Oh, now they're both on the mountain. It's a bit annoying. Also, I didn't mention it, but Roy's last level up was absolute dog shit. <laughs> he got like nothing. Which is kind of just the Roy uh, classic. Missing emblem? Yeah, that's very true. Unfortunately, that is just kind of Fire Emblem 6. Not as much as it's Fire Emblem Gaiden. That is the ultimate missing emblem, but... You do miss quite a bit in this game. Alright, wait. I'll give you one more shot. Well, not one more shot, but I'll give you another shot here. Maybe the fact that... You know what I think? Wade only has four health right now. You know what we should do? I should have Wade fight this mercenary. No, no, no. That's crazy. But Wade only has four health, which means he's now fighting for his life. See, when Wade's fighting for his life, when the chips are down, and Wade needs to... I mean, he didn't need to hit that guy, obviously. But when the chips are down, and Wade, Wade is uh, about to die... <laughs> oh, man. I don't know why... Every time I stream, it makes me, like, it plugs me up so much, and I, I think I'm allergic to streaming. I don't understand. I'm allergic to Wade doing things. Dude, my nose is, like, so stuffed up right now, I don't know why. It's so weird. Oh my god. But thank you, Wheelie. I appreciate it. It's alright. I'm just so excited for, uh, for Wade to do that. I think maybe it's just talking a lot. Maybe maybe it's because I don't talk a lot during the day and then suddenly I'm talking a whole bunch. I don't know. Allergic to clutch? That's true. I don't get that clutch factor in me. No, sir. No shot. Did Ellen get defense? Yo, oh, she got one defense! She also got a magic. She's at the three now. I didn't even realize that. Ellen with the one defense. Let's go. He got that clutch factor in him. Just like his namesake, Dwayne Wade. When the chips are down. Oh, that guy's got one hit. Okay, I should probably help Shanna. Man, I said the reinforcements were about to start, but apparently I was way off. The reinforcements take forever to start in this chapter. Holy crap. But they still haven't started. Sure, I, this is probably an unnecessary use of the Silver Lance, but I don't like this guy. This is, this is Ellen's run. She got that one point of defense. I think her defense growth is like 5% or something really awful like that. Um, I still have the growths up. Ellen has... Yep, it's 5%. Pretty good. A pretty nice little get there. I miss this is kind of bad. I bet Deke can do something. Oh yeah, Deke's a beast. Deke is him. I mean, Wade is him, but Deke's here. All right, so... Lure that guy out. I think everybody starts moving once I do this, but should be okay. Do -do 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 -do. 
What does Clarine have? Clarine has two defense, okay. I think her defense growth is also probably pretty ass, but starting with two defense is definitely a lot nicer. Also, she starts with really low heal or really low magic. This is one of the nice things about Saul is he actually comes with pretty good magic. Oh, I forgot to move uh, Roy. Whatever. Is it carry Deke's the support? That's actually true. And Deke has uh, support. Yeah, specifically support with uh, with Wade. So that's very true. We could build their support. Although I believe it's currently giving us two hit, which is not amazing. <laughs> but maybe it'll be better in the future. Now, as much as I love watching Wade kill bosses, I don't think this is a boss that Wade can actually kill. May, eh, probably not. We'll see. So Steel Blade, Fire, Hand Axe. I need to kill this guy. Can, can Lance finally start doubling things? Still not, he, I have 12 speed. How much speed do I need? How much speed do I need? Yeah, he can't either. Oh my god. Do I get doubled here? A two. Oh my god, I actually get one rounded. Even if Wade had full health, he'd still get one rounded. Uh, Jesus Christ. So... Oh, I don't have enough movement. I could rescue drop. Might not actually be a terrible idea. 22... Minus 6 is 16. 15... Oh, I actually survived that. Okay, we need to kill this guy. How do we kill this guy? Um, it's not very good. How do we kill this guy? Is there any other unit in the franchise like Ellen? Anyone uses? Should no brain bench candidate as soon as any other? Um, do you mean like, is there another unit like Ellen? In the sense that, like, you get a better version of them, like, really quickly, or... I mean, I think Ellen still has, like, pretty decent utility, just because healers are pretty invaluable. But, I mean, there's probably examples... I'm trying to think of an example of, like... If that's what you mean, like a, like a character with where you get their class, like, just a better version of their class almost immediately. Um... Uh, yeah, I'm trying to think of a... I mean, I think... I guess Natasha in Sacred Stones is kind of like that, but in reverse. Like, you get... Oh, I can't even kill... Oh, my goodness. Do we have to risk a Lou hit here? We might. We definitely might. We definitely might. Yeah, I think we may have to do this. This is a bit sus. Um... Because, like... Like, Mulder's just a much better version of Natasha. Although that that's a little bit different because there's three healers in this game. Whereas there's only two at the beginning of Sacred Stones, so Natasha's a lot more useful. But... So it's a little luck intense to die. Yeah, that's true. One of the beauties of Iron Man's in general, I think, is that they make a lot more units a lot more useful. Like... Most units are at least... I shouldn't say most units. Units like Ellen are at least kind of valuable in an Iron Man, just because units could die. No, Nobody's dead yet, Tonga. Nobody's died yet. Although, we'll see about this next turn. Especially with the four crit here. Wait, did I do... I did math wrong here, I think. 15... Oh, I did. 15 minus 2 is 13. 22... Minus 6 is 6... Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Uh, do I have to just hope for a crit here? Oh, I kind of messed this up, huh? Yes? Question mark? Nice. Okay. All right. I kind I kind of messed this up. What you really want to do is you want to have Marcus take the mercenary hit and the mage hit. But I messed up my positioning a little bit, but we're okay. We got saved for that from that crit. It's never fun to have to rely on a crit like that, but you know, sometimes you do what you gotta do. Alright, Rucker should be good now. I mean hypothetically I think this guy could kill Rucker, but the hit is gonna be pretty pathetic. 
Actually, that probably doesn't weigh him down. We probably don't need to do that. Do so in Clary, and I can't imagine somebody keeping her in the lineup. Yeah, that's true. That is true. Um, but there are times where, like, you wouldn't mind deploying three healers, for example. But yes, outside of, like, a very specific moment where you want, like, three healers on a chapter, and even then you get, like, what's-her-face, at least relatively early, so... A lot of just insta-bench units. Yeah, that's a good point, too. The- the- one of the reasons I love Fire Emblem 6 so much is that the roster is pretty enormous. So there are a lot of units, um, that are very much insta-bench units. Ellen, I think, still has some utility. I think Ellen's pretty good if certain characters die, and... Sometimes you really do just want that third healer, to be honest. But you are right, Saul is just a better version of Ellen in essentially every way. As is Clarion, to be fair. Unfortunately, Fire Emblem 6 is not Fire Emblem 5, where every single staff user is amazing, because they can use the warp staff. There is, of course, no warp staff in this game. Or no, there... I think there is a warp staff, but they severely nerfed the warp staff. The warp staff in um, the GBA games. Okay, Wade actually hit this dude, and it seems like he can do it again. All right, things are things are coming around for Wade. You know, he didn't have such a good start to the game, but it's not about how you start; it's how you finish. And Wade is uh, finishing all over these enemies right now in his own special way. But yeah, and to be fair, like I said, the despite the fact that what I said about Natasha and Mulder, the fact that um, there's much more limited healing at the beginning of that game. Like, if LaRachel was recruited immediately in Sacred Stones, it would be the same, but she's not, so I think, you're, uh, I think your point is valid. Ellen is pretty terrible. Also, Ellen coming with base, I think it's one magic, or maybe it's two magic, is like pretty atrocious, too. It's hard to, to argue with someone that comes with one magic, or two magic, or whatever and isn't mounted, you know. Especially when Saul comes with, I think, like, five, something like that. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> I love the, the brigand attacks and the, uh, and the fighter attacks in these games. They look like they hurt, and I appreciate that. Uh, these these guys going on these mountain tiles is so annoying with the hand axes. I mean, it's fine, but it's just a little tedious. I'll probably just go pick up Roy now. I don't think he's going to really be able to do much more over there. Can you deal with this guy? I'm taking 53. See, he's, he's coming along, you know. Wade is only good for one half of the chapter. Now, as to whether that's the first half or the second half, we don't know, right? But he's, he's only good for one half. Which is, I guess, better than just being absolutely useless for the entire chapter. Like some people, so... God, I really wanted to just kill that guy. Right, we'll just cover up the reinforcements. Uh, she needs to go pick up Roy. Roy's had fun with his new friend, but it's, it's time to go home. It's time for Roy to pack up his things. I usually do this boss with Rucker. I think I'll probably do it with Rucker again. No one's ever survived a blow from my axe. Hey, you, wanna see why? Uh, no, no, sir. That's quite all right. I think I'm good. That guy's gonna go more on the mountain. Yeah, this is why I wanted to crit him. Uh, it should be fine. It's just a little tedious. Do, do, do. Uh, okay, what do you look like fighting this guy? Can we do this with you? Nah, nope, 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 nope. Okay, well, anyways. Uh, yeah, usually I just hope for a crit when dealing with this guy, and I think that's probably what we're gonna do here. Very nice. There's really not much else you can do. Uh, this guy has the, uh, the killer axe. 
He's actually the first in a long line of bosses that are either either have killer weapons or just berserkers, making it really scary to fight them with units that like don't have range or don't essentially make their hit zero. Rucker, of course, being a good example of that. I think, yeah, I went back up a little bit. Okay, if I go here, he's going to have to get off the mountain to attack me, so I think I like that. Kill him, Wade. Nice. I like that we both have a 45% chance. Well, he deals 16, I deal 15, but essentially the same hit and the same damage. That's great. So we could try this with Wade, but yeah, I can't even kill. Not yet, at least. Yeah, why don't you just take him out? We don't need to deal with him. Ah. I just missed? Okay. <laughs> what a weird combat. I missed an 81, got hit by a 21, then crit. God, no, I didn't die. I didn't want to die. Nobody wants to die, buddy. Dory. Isn't Dory the name of Ellen DeGeneres' character from Finding Nemo? Or is that Dora? No, Dora's the little, the little girl with the backpack, right? I think it's Dory. You know, the like, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, that stuff. Didn't they make a movie? Didn't they make like Finding Dory or something? I think I watched that. It is Dory? Okay. Uh, we need to end this chapter right now because that's going to get really hairy really fast. We love Dory. Uh, I don't think there's anything else I want to do. Is there any supports or anything? No. Alright, let's get out of here. I didn't go too poorly. Lord Roy. A priest from the St. Saint Elamine Church uh, wants an audience with you and Princess Guinevere. He knew that Princess Guinevere was with us? Yes, I can't imagine how. Me neither. I'll see him alone. Roy, I'll be fine. I wish to meet this priest. Princess, tensions between my brother and the church have worsened as of late. I do not believe that they would attempt anything underhanded. I see. Merlin has allowed this priest in. I would not let Saul alone with Guinevere. Or anyone, for that matter, to be honest. Did make Finding Dory? Yeah, I think I saw it. I think it was good, I think. But, uh, Lord Roy, it is a pleasure to meet you at last. I am Saul, an acolyte of the St. Elamine Church. Pleased to meet you. Oh, and you must be Prince Guinevere. Princess Guinevere. You are as beautiful as the rumors say. Pardon me? Nah, forgive me. Your Highness, I wish to know the location of the Fire Emblem. Whoa, the Fire Emblem. You must have it with you, do you not? How did you know that? Prince Head Church... Uh, tells us the Fire Emblem disappeared from the Shrine of Seals, and you also went missing at exactly the same time. I was sent by the church to confirm the truth. Why did you take the Fire Emblem? I wish to stop my brother. Your brother, Zephiel, the King of Burn. Yes. Do you know what the Fire Emblem is used for? It's the key that awakens a sword that was used to slay the dragons long ago. That was what my father told me anyway. I am unsure how exactly the Fire Emblem or the sword work. My brother seemed to worry about the Fire Emblem falling into enemy hands. Extraordinarily so. So you took the Fire Emblem to make the king believe it fell into enemy hands? All in an attempt to stop this conquest? Yes, but the war continued anyways. And what will you do now? Must I reveal my plan at this moment? Ah, uh, so your highness has a plan. Yes, I have not given up hope of setting this war without... Settling this war without f f further bloodshed. I see. In that case, I will accompany you on your journey. If Roy allows it, I don't know. This guy's pretty pervy. I have no objections. Thank you, Roy. Of course, princess. <laughs> Ensnared. What is a Fire Emblem? It, the Fire Emblem depends. If you really want to know, the Fire Emblem changes between games. It's always an item. In the first game, it's like... It's like an item that just allows you to, like, open chests and stuff. Your plan, let Wade cook. That's all of our plan. But yeah, the Fire Emblem changes depending on the game. In this game, obviously, as they just said, it's, uh... Uh, it's how you can open to the Binding Blade. Give Wade the Binding Blade. Okay, this is where I'm gonna end the stream for today. Um... Oh, excuse me. I said stretch a little bit. Uh, good stream. Nobody died. That's great. I just want to mention one thing before I leave. Um, I I know I always talk about Fire Emblem hacks and how I want to play them. So I've decided that 
Um, I'm going to stream the Final 6 and we're going to keep streaming all the games as I always do. But when I have uh, time other than the stream, uh, I plan on recording some of some Fire Emblem hacks. So I'm actually going to be uploading the first part to my YouTube channel tomorrow. It's not streamed or anything. It's just uploaded to YouTube. So if you want to see more content or if you want to see Fire Emblem hacks, um, those will be uploaded every once in a while to YouTube. I also upload all the streams to YouTube. So if anybody ever misses or wants to rewatch anything, that's all on YouTube. But yeah, the first one's going to be up tomorrow. I can't remember the name of the hack. I just found a random hack that I wanted to try. The name of the hack. What is the name of the hack? It is... Oh, that's right. I made a folder and I just called it hack. Okay, I don't remember the name of the hack, but um, but yeah. So if anybody wants to check that out, I'll probably upload those like a couple times a week. So, But the streams will still continue as much as I can, just like they have before, so that won't change. Um, so anyways, uh, thanks everybody for watching. I appreciate it. I hope you all have a great rest of your night, and I will see you next time.